For the National Park Service, the Ork River is getting too close for comfort. The river is encroaching on portions of the Colonial Parkway, a 23-mile roadway that connects the Jamestown settlement to Colonial Williamsburg and Yorktown. The shoreline at the York River has um, withgone a lot of damage over the past 50 years. There's a lot of erosion that's taken place. This is why contractors working for the Norfolk District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are placing large pieces of rock to stabilize and strengthen a section of the shoreline along the river. We've had uh, a lot more storms, we've had sea level rise, and the current revetments that were put in last in the 1980s aren't functioning anymore. So we are trying to protect the parkway, which is on the National Register and one of the key elements to our park. The work going on here is the first 800 linear feet of more than four miles of shoreline identified to be stabilized along the Colonial Parkway. According to National Park Service officials, the first section was the most critically damaged. The, um, the waves go over the, over the rock and dig out the backside of the revetments, so they're digging into the hillside and the um, water, the water level has risen enough so that that makes it even that much worse. In addition to the parkway, a section of the battlefield is also identified for future shoreline protection. That actually is more stable than this. It doesn't look like it, but the slopes seem to have been stabilized. We actually have lost original earthworks from the Revolutionary War there. Corps and park officials say they have started the planning for the next phase of work, but don't have a specific timeline on when the additional work will begin. From Yorktown, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.